Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Kane Murray in the studio with me, Craig Burley and Shaka Hislop. And we'll start with the big news today that Al Sad have announced that Xavi Hernandez will be going to Barcelona. They've agreed to terminate his contract. But there's been no official word from Barcelona yet. Gemma Soler joining us from Barcelona. So she was feeding the dog. Right. She Sorry, caught, Tommy. She it's so the, quiet. It, corner edge of like the granite. <laughs> oh. Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Kay Murray in the studio with me, Craig Burley and Shaka Hislop. And we'll start with the big news that Xavi Hernandez is set to return to Barcelona, according to Al Sad, who announced today that he would be returning to his beloved club. The strange thing is, Barcelona haven't made anything official yet. We'll now welcome in Gemma Soler from Barcelona, who can tell us more on what's actually going on there, Gemma. Hola, Kay, Shaka, Craig. Yeah, uh, you know, with this club, anything can be another thing than a drama. So we're still waiting for the official announcement from FC Barcelona. It will probably be tomorrow because lawyers have to sign everything. Al Sad was very quick saying that Barcelona will play the release clause, but you know, this club is having issues with a financial fair play. They still need to pay the settlement for uh, Kuman sacking, and they are in trouble right now. They are trying to fix everything out to be able to, to feed the financial fair play. So until tomorrow, President Laporta, he's not in Qatar. He's in Vigo, in Galicia, where Barcelona has a very important game tomorrow. So probably it won't be until tomorrow that everything will be settled up, everything will be ready. But uh, Xavi Hernández will be Barcelona's new coach and he's expected to take a plane tomorrow early morning uh, Qatar hour. Oh, you take a look at how Xavi did do in his coaching role with Al Sad and everything that he has achieved there so far. But is this enough, Cray, to take the step up to Barcelona? What, what his managerial career at Al Sad? Yes. No, you can throw that in the garden. <laughs> get it, throw it away and, and, and forget about it because this is just a different, you know, that, that, this is, this is just play kid stuff compared to what he's going into here. He's going into, a, he's going into a problematic club. He's going into a club that's changed in term, terms of the president. It's changed in terms of the personnel. It's just sacked their manager. It's had a poor start to the season with a better squad than should be sitting in ninth in La Liga. So he's going to have to come in and he's going to have to organise that. Now, listen, everybody is hanging on to the fact that he's going to be the next Pep Guardiola. Because that's what people want. People have seen these players come in, managers come in, whether it be Solskjaer at United, whether it be Arteta at Arsenal. Any of these guys, Pirlo at Juventus, and there's many more. Can these people come in and take over these big clubs? Not many have succeeded. So it is a huge ask for this guy. I'm not saying he's not got good ideas. I'm not saying he's not a good people person. But there is so many skill sets needed that some managers have taken years to hone to come in and manage such a problematic situation at such a big club. It's a huge ask. It's not undo it's not untenable, but it's very, very difficult. The, the truth is though, managing a football club is such an inexact science. You really don't know who fits, what will work, what won't. And, and while you can look at examples like Pep Guardiola and, and Zidane, you can look at others who've made that same step and failed. Um, the truth is, I think it's a great opportunity for Xavi, a right time at the club despite the problems. Xavi goes in there, he will be the biggest name, he will be the biggest presence within Barcelona Football Club, and no manager has been able to say that for the last 15 or 20 years. And he gets to shape this side in the way that he wants. I think he'll be allowed, almost can't blush, to come in and change things uh, as, as he sees fit. And while, yes, Coaching at Al Sadd is in no means any kind of, um, was it, uh, starting point or, or 
it, it gives you the, the know-how to, to manage Barcelona, what, 30 years ago. Arsenal get a guy over from Japan. And look at how he transformed that football club. I'm talking about Arsene Wenger, of course. So it's, it's a good opportunity. I think what's also helping Xavi here is there's no other candidates. If, you, if we are looking around at football managers who are available today, who goes into that spot? They, what they wanted, if not needed, to get rid of Kuman. Who comes in? And I, I don't think there, there's an answer. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.